today. Now this is just a little video just to show you how easy it is to propagate your Christmas or Easter cactus. Now all you have to do is choose at least three segments here. Now in this case I'd recommend always choosing the part of the plant that's the most healthiest looking and I wouldn't recommend doing this while it's coming into bud either. Now you can root individual segments, as you can see here, a lot of them have just fell off and took root at the bottom of the pot, they root so easily. But the reason I recommend taking at least three segments is it gives plenty of energy for the plant in there to form roots. And also you've got a little plant to start off with as well. Now in this case, just choose the three segments there. All you have to do is literally just pick like that, just twist it. Now you can use scissors, but they're so easy just to twist off, like so. And all you have to do then is just form it, let it form a callus, leave it aside for about two or three days until this under here is completely healed over. And then all you need to do then is pop it into some soil. I recommend you can use either orchid compost. I use a lot of orchid compost with the um, Christmas and Easter cacti. It's entirely up to you. Or you can use Johnny's number one or two with 50% perlite added to it. And then after a couple of days of it heating over, put it into the soil about, about half, half an inch above there. Keep it lightly moist and literally within a few weeks you'll be sending out roots and you've got a new little plant. That's how easy it is to show you this one that um, I did a few months ago. As you can see it's just a few segments and now it's formed into its own little plant. So easy to do. There you go guys. So I send you loads of love and happiness as always from Ireland. And until the next video.